Thank you for watching the MAPS Global Podcast, where we discuss leadership and culture within the convergence of worship, prayer, and missions in your neighborhood and in the nations. What's up, guys? Welcome to the MAPS Global Podcast. I am in the host seat right now, Aaron Custolo. Really excited to be here. We're doing some special episodes during AG24. We've got all these incredible leaders in town. One of them sitting right across from me right now, Ava Jenkins. Um, she is absolutely incredible. Hails from Texas, from Upper Room, which is where I met you. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think we met... Um, I think it might have been Excel that introduced us. Maybe yes. I think it was like at an upper room youth night. Maybe yes. it was like the first time I heard you leading been. worship. Oh, um, wow. I think you were singing with like Naira or something. Probably. I don't know, but <laughs> I right. just remember being like, yo, who is, <laughs> who is this? But um, anyways, Ava's with us in town. She just led worship last night at AG24 and it was just so, so powerful. And um and, you know, for us, any of you guys that have been watching the Maps Global podcast, we've done a lot on Isaiah 61. You hear us preach on Isaiah 61, talk about it, really important for us. And, um, and you didn't know that. You didn't know that. And you're still finding it out. We were literally talking about it on the way walking down to this podcast. But um, you released or it didn't release like public release, but in the spirit, you sang for the first time a song that the Lord had been stirring you on Isaiah 61. And uh, just tell us, tell us real quick just about how that moment was. Cause in the room, I mean, it, there was deliverance, there was healing, there was so, I mean, I, I got to actually share a bunch of stories with you. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, I, like, I got to tell you. Yeah. Them. <laughs> Some of them are personal, so we won't put them on the podcast. But, um, but tell us about that song and then about that moment that happened at annual gathering last night. Yes, I, it was super special for me. So I told, so basically we had this whole set list and we were kind of figuring it out as we go. And I got to join with you guys' this team, yeah. which was so sweet. And we were in the middle of like practicing and just kind of like feeling it out and seeing where we wanted to go. And I have not, I have not heard one ounce of, <laughs> I just keep getting shocked. I've not heard one ounce of what y'all like are stirring on here in totally. that sense. And so it keeps shocking me too. And we were in practice and I, I was standing there and I think we were going to do Agnes Day. <laughs> I can't tell you what we're going to do. Still a banger. And it's still, still a banger. banger. I yeah. love Agnes so. Day. And I stopped and I was like, Hey guys, I have this song that I have in my voice memos. I took a note on. I I keep thinking back. Now that I think about it, I probably wrote it about three years ago. Wow. And it's Isaiah 61 is also my life scripture, which is also what's well, freaking I like say yeah. it every morning. Like wow. uh and so I just I wrote it and I was like, if I'm gonna sing about anything, I'm I can sing about this. So I write this song. I think I wrote it for an open mic night. And yeah. uh so I've sang it like once now that I think back. Yeah. But I'm sure no one it it was like in this lit like it's lost it's in, awesome. the, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the archives of heaven. And so <laughs> I so I like did it once and I have it and I know it. it's one song that I've written that I know and I said hey guys I feel like like I wrote this song kind of vulnerable because I was telling them I was like I don't think I've ever I have it maybe in the last five six years I like joining in co-writing songs but I don't think I've been like I have this song from my voice memo set maybe we should try tonight wow. and I, I said, we can try it. And so I started singing the beginning and the musicians just hopped on it in practice. And wow. I'm listening and we just started rolling through it. And I was like, this, can we do this guys? This is so good. I know I was wow. leading, but you know, I want to ask my team. And they were like, yeah, let's go for it. Like it's, it's not difficult. Wow. So we practiced it and we just felt the wind on it. And so we, the, this, the moment we started, so we, they really just, they were just like, okay, let's do it. And I was, it felt so easy. Like, I really feel like when the Bible says, like, follow peace and like, like God really does breathe, like just on that space for me, it, it's, it felt so safe. And so wow. like, 
I felt in so much agreement mm. with my with the team and with Evan. And I can't say there was like so much like shabadaba over it. It was yeah. just like permission, like, okay, yeah. Wow. I was like, okay. So we get into the briefing room and that was wild. And when we were from the moment worship started, like the anointing, it was so easy. <laughs> yes. Like it's always funny that the the Lord pops off when my voice is going out. <laughs> and I'm like, God, it's you. Listen, in my weakness, you are hey, so strong. It's true, um, though. It's true. And we just got in this swirl. Like, we got in this swirl from the beginning of, like, just exalting Jesus in his name. And when we got to that song, we were coming out of... We were, I want to also tell you that there is a part that we did not do in practice. And yeah. it was wild so we got into the song and we started yeah like, that was fire because i yeah, told like, you last <laughs> night i was like yo like, that one right yeah. guys this, we did yeah. not okay people yeah. were like was that spontaneous because i do a lot of prophetic singing yeah, spontaneous yeah. i was like actually no that is an actual song that yeah. i actually wrote in my closet and so it was really it was really cool for me to get to do that but we got to this part because we were we ended at the beauty for ashes i even added a second line to the verse like right before we went up so yeah. it was all like this it was so fresh wow. and so we got to this part where we were in the beauty for ashes and in practice the lord was highlighting you change beauty for your ashes but we got to this part where i started hearing um everything that everything that could not be broken is now broken because you're anointed. Yes. And so for me, one part of that scripture that I've sat on and said, I mean, I think I spent, I spent a few months just sitting on the spirit of the Lord is upon you because wow. he has anointed you. Wow. And so that I feel it just ushered in the authority of God in the room. And honestly, I always just want to enter into what like Jesus, if Jesus is standing there, we have, and he's feeling welcome to do his thing. We have, we as worship leaders have done our job, you know? Yes. And we got to <laughs> yeah. that part and it was like everything that hasn't, and I can't, and it was a true spontaneous moment. Like yeah. usually I'm like, oh, we're in the scripture here. Like yeah. this was happening, but it was so like, open your mouth and I'll fill it. And he just started like everything that could not, and I, I think I start, for me, I started seeing Richmond, there's this moment where we just go, mm. you just kind of go up yeah. and I see in the region and I was like, oh, we're about to do something regional. Wow. And it was everything that could not be broken is now broken. Everything that could not be healed is now healed. And it's so beautiful to like, it wasn't a past thing. It wasn't yeah. a future thing. It was one of those now moment, wow. now things. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like we entered into that. And yes. I, I, from the stage, got to see, like, this much of what was happening in the room because usually I'm, like, band and, like, God yeah. and, like, watching my pastor. Like, if <laughs> need, totally, you know, what yeah. does he need me to What's do? Yeah. But I really couldn't. But I did get to, like, see a few things, like, but not much. So I really want to hear well, yeah, we the, all's perspective. <laughs> yeah. Well, so deliverance and healing just started happening in the room where a few people that were – um, dealing with some really serious, um, like some very real demonic oppression got mm -hmm. delivered. Um, and then healings, physical healings began to take place. We, if we hadn't even yet gone into an altar call, but it was literally, it was right when you started your song, um, right when you started at the very beginning, you guys transitioned out of whatever you transitioned out of and started into that where some of the oppression started to just get exposed and people mm. started some people started just spontaneously going up and praying for and people getting delivered wow. and then healing starting and then by the time the song was over or you know or after the spontaneous going and broken and then it was like all right ministry time and words and knowledge and healing and stuff but all that was already like as soon as you went into the song people were starting to get healed and delivered and uh t can you can you tell Tell us, for those that are listening, tell us the words of the song because they were so potent to the way that you expressed Isaiah 61, even lyrically. And I, you have to go watch the live stream to hear the, the melody and all of that in the band. Yeah. But yeah, tell us, <laughs> tell us. Yeah, I'm not going to make you sing it on the Thank podcast. You. But, but um, like, Ooh. tell us the, tell us, tell us the word, the lyrics. 
Uh, yes, so the so we're calling it the course. <laughs> we're gonna call this the course. We did. Uh, so it's, the spirit of the Lord is upon you because He has anointed you above the rest. Yeah. And then we repeated sure. that the spirit of the Lord is upon you because He has anointed you above the rest. And then the second line was angels ascend, angels ascend, and descend upon descend on you. Heaven is open. Heaven is open. Wow. And um. And then we went into these verses that were just like to open prison doors, yeah. uh, to give. I can't remember. Remember, y'all? I just wrote it. I just yeah, really yeah, no, you just like busted it out of the voice. Um, <laughs> but we basically just went into yeah. what the anointing does uh, yes. to, to preach the good news to the poor, to bring yeah. joy to those that mourn. I think to open prison doors, set free the captive, and we just went through. Yeah. And then I think honestly, this was my. I was surprised because this was kind of my super favorite part. And it shocked me, but it was um, to give a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, to give a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And, uh, okay, I remember this line, garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Oh, to make the seeds oaks of righteousness. Ooh. That, <laughs> I was like. Girl, you didn't write that. That yeah. was the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, that was. <laughs> that wasn't you. That, that was, was that was God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can only like, receive that which is uh, given from heaven. That one right, came I was like, from that was so <laughs> my God. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's God. And it was like, you are the anointed one. You are the anointed one. And, wow. and we, I think we called our bridge the you give beauty for ashes, yeah. joy for mourning, praise for heaviness. Yeah. You are anointed. You are anointed. And, and it's. Yeah. I, I love the emphasis on it of like. That Jesus is anointed, and I told you that when I like late last night after we hit Cannes with uh, with Bailey and her squad, I came, I bumped into you. But like the you know the Lord has anointed you, you know, and you're anointed above the rest, mm. you know. And then what could not be broken now is broken because you're anointed. Mm. But it's like it's it, it it's like I can I love that you said you were sitting on that for a while on like just that Jesus is anointed mm -hmm. because that comes through. And as we were, this is just, you know, to encourage all the prophetic singers, as we began declaring that and singing and prophesying and releasing that, mm -hmm. that reality of heaven manifested in the room mm -hmm. where he did break things that couldn't be broken before yeah. where he did release beauty for ashes. Mm -hmm. And as we were singing that, like it, it, it happened in the room and, um, it was wild. It was wild. It was a wild time. It was beautiful. Yeah. Was Thank you for like being willing with a couple new musicians, you know, cause you don't play with us all the time, you know, to, but to like pull something out of your heart, out of your voice memos, you know, and like, and go for it. And, um, I mean, you guys, in case anybody that is watching doesn't know, Isaiah 61 is, is, um, such a key passage to, to our family. Even I was telling Ava, the whole reason that we have the building that we're in is because the Lord told us not to pray for a building, but to contend for an Isaiah 61 healing anointing. Mm -hmm. And then as we prayed and contended and for a while, asking God for a healing anointing, then the Lord supernaturally gave us a campus to make it clear that, hey, he, the anointed one, wants to come and release the healing anointing amongst his people. And so the fact when you went into that, I know our whole family, all the whole spiritual family was like, what? You're like, yes. Like you were singing the song of our hearts, you know, mm -hmm. releasing, expressing what God is doing. So wow. just thank you, Ava, thank for, you for what you do. Thank you for being the creative that you are and the prophetic voice that you are. Um, it's been such a joy to have you here at Annual Gathering. Thanks for being on the podcast with us too. Thanks we so love you. Me. Thank you. All right, yes. peace guys. See you <laughs> next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the MAPS Global Podcast. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out previous episodes. Have you seen our 50 Hours documentary? Watch it now. And don't forget to sign up for our email newsletters.